If you're holding XRP, I got something for you. Isn't it funny that after so many great news for Ripple for XRP last week, the price just didn't move? Not much. But today, happening right now, I'm seeing it. I want to tell you everything you need to know. Sellers decide to be a little bit more aggressive for Bitcoin and XRP and other cryptos. And well, we get a gift. What is it, Oscar? Well, reality is that we have discounted prices and if you're an investor this is awesome right because you have another chance to buy the dip and i want to explain you this one too because we have some levels we're looking at different candles different time frames and i want to share with you guys what is the price that i'm looking to enter what is the price that we are realistically can go because we're not saying we're gonna go down to zero 40 cents 30 cents no you have to be very cautious because you don't want to miss this. You buy right now, like at 53 or wait a, a little bit longer. There's also this one that I didn't cover with you guys, but it's been live for about a day. Brad Garley has reacting to the video of Elon Musk speaking a little bit about XRP. And he says, voters care about crypto. Obviously, yes, we do, right? Like that's what we've been saying for such a long time that crypto has that politics has come to crypto, right? And we sometimes need to talk about it. They care about XRP. It's not a niche issue. They want real policies that drive innovation and create jobs. So I'll put this one at the end because there's, I mean, I can take the whole video talking about that, you know me, but look at uh, BTC went to 66 and a half, under 67. I made a video yesterday for you, like if you're holding Shiba in a well in this case, if you're holding XRP, got to prepare now. Don't forget to smash the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Everybody, we always talk about the news. There's always big predictions. Ripple USD, uh, you know, everybody talking about XRP. Um, you know, there's an abundance of updates when it comes to XRP and interviews. But sometimes when it comes to price predictions, um, what people say oftentimes is like, we're, we're not moving. It's just the same. Where's the pump? I get it. Now, it is obvious that uh, until we don't see Q th Q4 wake up and do something about it, we're, we're just not going to see big altcoins perform. And we are seeing that, right? We haven't seen Ethereum do much. We haven't seen Bitcoin is doing decent, to be honest with you. But other than that, I mean, not many, o only a few meme coins that are just, you know, new, right? And they're kind of popping off, but XRP is still waiting. It's time. And we really haven't gone back to 60 cents after the decision to appeal. So let's say right now the SEC is still having fun, but two weeks, two weeks. You know what I'm talking about, baby? that election so get ready here's what i'm doing so guys i'm using margex as you can notice i close all my positions right i close all my positions on margex i'm ready i got some fun so i'm ready to trade and you know make some place first and foremost here on margex i see that my bollinger bands on my four hours destroyed broken if I want to add a little bit more, right? So if I'm looking into the relative strength index to see in my RSI, I'm seeing that we're still not in the oversold, meaning that there's a chance we could go lower. Okay. Just TA. If we go back to my PPF, past, present, future indicator here on TradingView, you can find it on the second link down below. I'm using this to start looking at it. We already got a sell alert uh today well i mean we are not we're, we're really not in the buyer zone yet means that you know 51 52 50 is still on the table it's still on the table right and oftentimes it could go much lower in you know some scenarios if we go to the daily check how we're looking right now in the daily we have one good support added by the indicator at 50 cents so we dropped 50 september we dropped 50 close october 3rd and now that is the next level to reach um it is 
why should I even alarm you guys or so? Because there's no need. First thing that we need to do is see if the price of XRP is going to continue to do a triple bottom on this chart. If you, if it's going to come anywhere close to 50, because I mean, no need to talk, uh, to consider these levels yet, um, because we still need to check that level. We're barely getting out of the, out of the Neo cloud. As you notice, this was phenomenal, you know, at the end of September, but with that appeal, boom, it brought us super down and we're trying really, we're really trying and we've been trading, making money. This is just being for us with Margex making money time. Decided to close because this is a significant candle, but we'll open again soon. Guys, first link down below, join up on Margex, you know, put 10,000 welcome bonus and um, 70 of you, 70 of us trading making some plays, shorting, longing, and no KYC, guys. And, you know, it's pretty fun. You can close, you can open. It depends on you. When it comes to leverage, nobody will judge. It's your money. I have learned not to keep my stuff open if, you know, the trend doesn't really support it because you don't keep your money once you're liquidated. You you lose it all. You lose that position if it's isolated, right? So I always do isolated. I don't like to do March uh, cross per personally, right? But um, yeah, I mean, I like to take loss, maybe 20%, 40% fine, right? I, I, I kind of want to hold it, but I decide to close them because it's not really worth the risk. So FY. But right now I made some money with other different plays that I was really up, like 300%, 200%. So it really helps, right, to get in early and take these chances to buy because part of the reason that I made a lot of money in my place is because when it when it drops, I remember getting into XRP really low, right? And but I should have gone with more leverage. So just FY, if there's a chance that we go a little bit lower, you know I'm gonna get in. We have to get in. This is just an amazing price for for XRP. Because you know that there's a chance that in about two weeks, guys, we might go flying once again, once, you know, um, SEC chairman Gary Gansler leaves and gets fired or resigns. And part of the reason is this candidates that ignore crypto and blockchain risk, risk a serious loss in support from a growing informed voter base. Brad Garling has notes what's popping. Uh, did you, one of the reasons that I really support this company ripple is him. Not so much. Chris Larson, and you know why yesterday <laughs> we talked about that one, but it's okay. They can do whatever they want with their money. Point is that I'm looking at the prices and Bitcoin is acting volatile. Bitcoin is acting interesting. I think opportunities are coming and we'll just see, right? Just be prepared. I may ask any time open new positions, but believe me, I'm watching XRP because I know it might be a little risky, but it can really, really pump at any time and we'll make so much money. So thanks for watching, everybody. Just stay alert. There's obviously an opportunity. And once again, this is a gift. We're nowhere even close to 70 cents, 60 cents right now. It's moving really slow, but that is just a signal that the, the chances are open to get in and make money. Peace.